What's up, Savvy Expats? Today we're gonna check out Uptown. We're gonna see if it is the same or if the pandemic has affected it. And if you guys should check it out during the pandemic because quite honestly, there's so many things that have changed. So we're gonna see if it's the same and uh, just look at Uptown as a whole. Let's go. So we're pretty much at Uptown now. Let's take a look around. Quite a few people out. Again, you can hear me say throughout the video, compared to before the pandemic, there's a lot less people than you see as usual. Obviously the shops are open. You have coffee, bean, and tea leaf. Sangyup Salama, Korean barbecue. They start Christmas very early here in the Philippines. So as you can see, you have those Christmas lights up, which is pretty funny. It's only late September. They already have Christmas lights up. So for you expats, that love Christmas, you're gonna love the Philippines because they started very early here. Got people outside, music, and check this out. They have a Bellagio-esque waterfall, almost as if you're in Vegas or something. Looks very nice. Look at all those lights and everything. So, a lot more outdoor markets that are gonna be happening because of the pandemic. A lot of these indoor places are very strict. Some are even asking for vaccine passports from what I've heard from my parents. And every place you'll go to here in the Philippines, well most, require you to do some sort of contact tracing. All right guys, here's by far the most popular part I'd say of Uptown aside from the mall. This is pretty much right next to the mall so you guys can check this out as well. This lighted lane, very nice. They have a lot of street food vendors here. I'm just gonna take a walk through here. And I'll also be quiet so that you guys can hear the sounds as well. Hello. Have all these street food vendors, quite a few people out right now. You know what, actually considering that this is during a pandemic, there's quite a few people out. You hear that guys, they got pizza. They have barbecue. Hi, Lichon Bouncer. Lichon. Look at that. Where is this Lichon from? Lichon Cebu. Cebu. Yeah. Lichon Cebu. I have two flavors, spicy and non-spicy. Nice. You want to try it? I'm good, thanks though. Looks good. Oh. Hi, ma'am, sir. What is this? What's this? Yes, sir. Thank you for the ice cream. Two ninety nine dollars. Ice cream. It's good. That looks good. Alright, look at quite a few people out, guys. You know what, to be honest, before going out here, I wasn't expecting this much people out because of the pandemic, but um, of course, because this is outdoor dining, they're a lot less strict with this kind of stuff. And uh, they don't have that kind of stuff where you have to spread out with those little shields, since this is outdoor. Look at that, nice lights everywhere. Looks great. Let's see what we have here, popcorn. That's cool. Shawarma. So they have all these dining options. They have all these dining options out here. Sushi, barbecue. So based off the of looks of it, guys, I haven't showed really much of the vendors. We'll come back around and I'll show you guys more, but the majority of it is barbecue. Street food barbecue. Nice. Biryani, butter chicken. What do they have? Drinks here. Hi, sir. Hi. Hi. <laughs> the barbecue over here. Sushi, big sushi. Sushi. Look at these guys. Natural salesmen out here. Pizza. And take a look at this building, guys. This is the Uptown Palazzo, I believe. Still under construction. And it looks absolutely like a Roman Colosseum. It looks awesome. I have covered some of the units here. To be honest with you guys, I'm not going to lie. The units aren't as nice. It's quite underwhelming. When you look at the outside, you think you're going to have a very extravagant looking unit inside. But just like many of the units here in the Philippines, they kind of just pack it in it's more so about how much people they can accommodate how many units they can put in one condo than it is about quality and the size of the unit so more condo unit videos coming up there it is 
It's a nice looking unit outside, but don't be deceived. They also have a couple of the indoor seating restaurants, Barcino, Salvatore Bar. Looks nice in there, but they have pizza. All right, guys, let's walk back around. Give you guys a better look at the food options over here. The drinks. More Filipino food. This will give you guys a decent idea of how much people are out nowadays. I mean, these vendors are definitely getting quite a bit of business despite the pandemic. Look how much people are out there. Gyro. We have some gyro too. Looks kind of dry. And right now we're getting some popcorn here. Here's by far one of the nicest parts about this area in Uptown, guys. These lights. For those of you people on social media, this is probably a good place to take some pictures. And then they also have some booze, some alcohol options. There you go. Uptown Parade. So there you guys have it. Really nice environment, nice place to go hang out with your friends, I'd say. Just get a couple things to eat. Obviously, you guys know that a lot of the food options here in BGC are not actually that cheap, uh, depending on where you go. So, it's really a good area to get a cheap eat if you're on a budget. Then over here, you can check out the mall as well. So, in this area, guys, we passed by this earlier. Coffee, bean, and tea life. This area, right over here, let me tell you something. Only the vaccinated people are allowed to dine in over there. Or I'll be honest with you, my fellow savvy expats. That's one of the dumbest things I've probably ever heard is only vaccinated people can eat there or dine in there. It's pretty communist, <laughs> but um, hey, that's the way that the world is happening nowadays. So what can you do? Um, this is not even a political video, but that's just crazy to me. I heard my, my mom told me that, that only vaccinated people are allowed to dine in there. It's pretty dumb. I'm just being honest with you guys, what's going on here in BTC and Philippines. I'd say overall, there has been quite a few changes, a lot of changes, so it's not the same. Uh, there is less people going out, of course, because there is a lot of fear going around. People don't want to go out as much and Obviously, there's just going to be less people overall going out, but there are still businesses operating. As for the current status with the lockdown, it's not extremely strict because there are still people allowed to go out and walk, as you can see. There are still people that are outside exercising. SM Aura is open. Different malls are open. As you saw, there's a lot of food vendors out there. And overall, a lot of establishments are still open uh, despite the pandemic. So I'd say that it's not the same whatsoever less people are going out but there still are establishments open the one of the main things that i personally am not a huge fan of and that has changed because we are talking about what has changed is the fact that they are doing a lot of contact tracing they are doing the vaccine stuff i even went to mangan a couple months back they give you incentives to take the vaccine or to show that you have taken the vaccine i think they give you like 10% off your meal if you have taken the vaccine and that's one of the main changes that I've noticed pretty much everywhere in the Philippines especially here in Manila is that if you have taken the vaccine you do get special privileges like being able to dine in and um, I think that that stuff is just gonna continue here in BGC so that's the overall update for you guys so if you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe more videos actually on the floor on the ground of BGC showing you guys what it's like during the pandemic and talking all about that kind of stuff so if you want to see more of that don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below your favorite part about this video did you think it was gonna be that crowded out and I'll see you guys in the next video peace